Good morning guys. Today I'll be sharing with you how I make my morning coffee on the Breville Express Barista machine. If you don't have this coffee machine, you're missing out on some bomb coffee. Every single morning I like to enjoy a good cup of coffee just to get my caffeine going so I can get my day started. So let me take you right through the process. All right, so first off, I add two and a half pumps of syrup. And then I'm going to grab my pod and make sure it's the double size so you can change it here in single or double. And then I'm going to go ahead and push it in. So it's gonna... So now what I'm going to do is pack down the coffee. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the pod, push it in here, and then to be able to lock it, you twist all the way through. And I'm going to grab my mug where I poured the syrup, place it right under the pod, and then I'm going to click the double espresso. It already smells so good. Okay, so next I'm going to remove this, tee this out in the sink, and then I'm going to swap it to the single pod shot because I like three shots in my coffee. So we have the double pod and then the single one. And then we're going to pack it and do the same thing. Okay, so this is what the coffee looks like. All that's left is some creamer. So now I'm going to pour in my almond milk in my frother. So I kind of do everything by eye, so I know how much of a portion to pour in my mug. Now I'm going to click on the button for it to frog. Enjoy the best coffee ever. All right, coffee is ready to drink. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Mmm, delicious. I'm telling you guys, if you don't have this coffee machine, you're missing out on some bomb coffee. Happy Tuesday. Today I'm going to share with you guys a full raw leg workout in our home gym. So let's get right into it. And then I 
got some chicken cooking over here. Okay, so I don't have any soy sauce, so I'm going to season with the 21 seasoning from Trader Joe's. And then um, I also added some salt in here as well. So here's what I'm having for my post meal after the workout, some chicken tenders, fried rice, and a side salad. On our way to our groomers to get their haircuts done. It's been a while. Are you guys excited? I know you guys don't like going there, but it's time for a haircut. Bella. Bella, are you excited? Why are you screaming? You don't like going to the groomers? We gotta go. Bella. Oh my gosh, these dogs hate going to the groomers. Every time they see the store, they try to go back home. All right, we're gonna go. Stop. <laughs> we're trying to go home. Well, we can't go. We gotta get a haircut first, okay? She's so skinny. <laughs> and then uh, she said Kobe was a little bit finicky for all of his oh feet, gosh. but other than that, they were both really good. Okay. Bella, you ready to go home? Bubby, hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. They're so excited to go back home. And of course, it's pouring out. You don't look like yourself. What happened? You butchered your haircut. All right, Kobe gets a treat. And Bella gets a treat. You guys, we officially got our first snow in here in Washington. It is crazy. It's not even Christmas yet, and we already got some snow. It's starting to rain right now. Just taking a stroll through the neighborhood. It is so beautiful. Wow, look at that. Can't believe we actually got snow. Kobe, do you like the snow? This guy loves the snow. The snow is kind of like slushy. It's not sticking, so that's good. Actually have to shoot tomorrow, so that's not good. <laughs> but it's good that the snow is melting. Kobe is just having the best day of his life. We're running around. So I just spent about 50 minutes outside running around with Kobe and we're heading back in the house. Kobe, how did you enjoy the snow? Oh, you loved it. You ran around like a maniac. Let's go back inside. What is up, you guys? Today I have a photo shoot and I'm shooting about 10 outfits today. Um, it snowed in yesterday, so we have some snow left over. Look how beautiful it is out today. We got some sunshine and yeah, here's my outfit, super casual. And look at the beautiful snow we have. So today I'm getting my nails done and I will take you guys through the process of what I do. final look of my nails. I'm really boring. I always like a French tip or a really neutral color, but I love it. So basically all I ask when I go in the salon is I want a powder dip and that's it. I wanted to fill you guys in with what we just did yesterday. So I had my dad-in-law come over and help me install a flat board for my bed. For those that don't know, but I was born with really bad scoliosis and going back through my teen years, my mom actually forced me to sleep on a flat board for two years for my bad posture to improve. So 
So at age 18, when I started working out, I started building a better, stronger back, so everything has improved. And as I'm getting older, I want to make sure I can maintain my good posture. So I decided to start sleeping on a board again. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so here is my bed. And once I take the blanket off, you can kind of see the board sticking out right here. But once you fully remove all the sheets, you will see that I have the board on my side. It's really uncomfortable and painful for like the first four weeks, but your back will get used to it. And honestly, my back feels so much better every single morning because it's not sinking into the mattress where there's unevenness, but it's just a flat board that you're laying out your body onto. So if you have bad back pain or bad posture, I highly recommend sleeping on a board for a few years while you're young. That way your back can improve.